started nearly two decades ago, Longisco used to sell just greeting cards. But business in the small boutique store has slowed down since the emergence of social networking. To stay afloat, Longinus Omeyaku, the store's owner, decided to diversify and now also stocks crafts, souvenirs, toys and other gift items. About 19 years ago, 100% of what you see now, here now, was greeting cards. Greeting cards to the whole of this counter, all around up this place. But now, the fortune of greeting cards has dwindled. They will have to divert to other business. Uh, that is why you see greeting, I mean, uh, gift items are mostly here. But one innovative startup is hoping to change all of this. Greetings World is a new company that is seeking more creative ways to reintroduce the love for paper greeting cards. Greeting cards still have that wow effect, whether you like it or not. You know, these social media platforms have been overly used, and so they don't even convey that special experience that they should convey. For example, if I send you a text message, you know, the chances that you even read it immediately are very slim because you are busy throughout the day. But if I send you a physical card, you're probably going to want to take your time to open it. The experience of opening a card, you know, from the envelope, turning page by page to see every detail and every careful, thoughtful word out of the card, you know, can't be replaced by social media. But for some Lagos residents, greeting cards are a tradition that's long past. I would prefer somebody going to the Facebook, for instance, just to create fun by saying, ah, law, congrats, oh, I almost forgot your day. God bless you. I hope that this happens with lots of wishes. Who would have seen a beautiful thing said on the card that is kept in my bedroom or on the table in my office or my dining at home? Nobody would go there to read them. So I think it's time that um, we move with the trend. Converting social media enthusiasts will be a challenge, but Greetings World believes with a savvy business strategy, they can rekindle Nigerians' interests in paper cards. Maria Galang, CCTV.